I have a mind to speak tonight of bodies changing form. And O oh, you gods, as origin of all the changing forms, breathe life into my labours here, these metamorphoses. Before the oceans were, before the land was given form, and still, before there was a sky draped over everything, one indivisible and faceless mass was nature then. The solar rays of Phoebus didn't shine yet on the world nor did the lunar horns of Phoebe sharpen in the night. Yet, though the land and sea and sky potentially were there, the land was volatile, the sea was unconfined, the air devoid of light, and in this chaos nothing held a form, the elements were ceaselessly engaged in violence. if you will, at last resolved this strife. He separated land from sky. He segregated sea and shore and isolated liquid air from heavy air. The weightless fire took possession of the highest arc of heaven's dome. The air came next in lightness and in place. The heavy earth, because of its composite density, was made to sink beneath. And last, the water streaming round the globe and girdled all the land in tidal forced his way through ghostly hordes and past the insubstantial spirits of an earthly grave, making his way to Proserpine and him who reigns supreme within that ghastly realm, the master of the shades, Pluto. 